another episode with Jess Van and it, baby. Sorry, mate. Look at him. Proudly brought to you by iCheck TPMS. I have never been so excited to see a car wash. Hey, Gary. Yeah. I'm normally like, oh, we're stopping to wash the van. I'll tell you what, this baby needs a clean. Look at this. There has been so much dust and dirt. I mean, look at the state of it. I like just to say, we get asked a lot of questions a lot this question a lot and that's how do we like wash our car and van on the road and how do we keep it so clean i wash like we looked this up and funny enough the caravan park we're going into is next door that just happened to be <laughs> a, a luck um we've been advised this caravan park in Carnarvon because it's a little bit out of town it's a it's, it's a bit better um and there's a car wash right next to it so we take this advantage and we'll wash the whole lot and then we'll cruise into the park and then we'll just wipe it down and do what we can because I have absolutely no idea where the next car wash is going to be. Look at this! A little bit of civilization. Booyah! Oh yeah, look at that. Look at Bobby. <laughs> He's trying to catch the soap on the window. What a trick. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. You are having a deep clean, which I know you won't be very happy about, but you'll feel better afterwards. Oh, it's been a handful, but this is where the true problem begins. Bobby, it's a blow dryer. Wait, it's a blow dryer. Alright, so we have completely given up on the blow drying because this man just thinks it's a massive game whenever there's a blower or a vacuum around. Bob is obsessed with anything sprayer. Love it. Now, man. Bobby, come. I actually have no words for you, mate. No words. Like, how am I meant to keep you clean? You are just an absolute terror. Oh, well, hopefully when he dries, I can just, I don't know, dust him off. Well, that was an epic waste of time on the dog front. Oh. Because he ended up oh, dirtier than he went good. in. Bloody rolls in the ground when it's done. But look at this beauty. Hey, oh. okay? high five, lad. It's the best Good you're going to get it on the road, but I cheated on the van. I never brushed the van. I has, oh, oh. It was another flop. <laughs> it's good protein, apparently. I just half pressure soaked it and then rinsed it down. Well, I mean, it looks way better, better, doesn't it? I can touch it with confidence. Yeah, well, and funny enough, like I said, the car wash is right next door to the caravan park. We're at um, Summer Star Tourist Capricorn Holiday Park thingy. Things. It's actually a good day park. So Watch we out. get our membership oh, look out. discount here. Hang on, come on this way. Out the road if you can. You're probably blocking up the road here, love. Yeah, maybe. Not oh, the dear. best place to park. Yeah, she'll be alright. People will understand. I'm just I'm not parked in the road park to the left. Hello, sorry about that. Yeah, let's go in and see if we can get in. It's just gone past twelve, so we sneakily arrived a bit early. Well I know we can. Do you know how I know? Why is that? Because you know we went for a walk to say good day to Trevor this morning, Bob's oh, Trev. mate. Yeah, Bob's mate. They're already checked in. All right, there you go. But um, let's get in because there's a few things we've got to iron out before we go. And we'll get into that in a minute when we get parked up. 
So let's jump in, let's get in, let's get the van parked up. We're here for two nights because, um, I'll, you know, I'll explain to you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're on site 135. Quickly, whipping up a late breakfast, early lunch, or late lunch, late breakfast, eh? All in one. All in one. What are you going to do for us? Well, it's lunch, really. It's one o'clock. I'm starving. Just an omelette, my sweet. Omelette in a wrap. Sue, mm -hmm. Sue makes an omelette in a wrap for some reason. It, it tastes very good. But for two days is to prepare ourselves for the next four weeks of um, travel. This is the last time we must probably see a caravan park until, I don't know, five weeks away. And there's a few little bits and pieces that need to be done when you clean the solar panels so I couldn't reach in the wash bay. Um, something's happening tomorrow. We'll keep you posted for that. And just a, a few things. And number one main thing is it's not a bad idea to charge those lithiums up to full over two days. We've been hit given a hot tip from some fellow followers that Carnarvon is sort of your last sort of night, I think there's a Woolworths in town um, to get some groceries. So we're going to sit down, we're going to plan some meals for the next sort of four to five weeks. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of pastas and stuff like that because so, that's stuff that can sort of last long longer. And also we've only got such a big freezer space. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're having a bit of a doozy here because um, the oil light comes on in the car. I'm going to try and sort that out tomorrow. I want to check the oil level when it's cold. Plus, uh, upright fridge in our car has decided to not work anymore. So I've got to drop that off tomorrow morning as well. So we can't even use the freezer space in that or the fridge space. So at the moment, we're using that fridge inside the van. It's a fairly big fridge though, isn't it? It's an excellent size fridge. Oh, hang on. Let me turn this around. It's a, it's a 240 litre, 200, 270 litre. It's massive. But we basically... Hold on. Using one sort of main shelf for some cold cool drinks and stuff, but then also, I mean, it's it's only that big like the freezer. So we've got to be very. It's a good size for a caravan. Though. Yeah. So we've got to be very careful about the groceries. So we're going to go and have a look this over to try and see if I can find one of those like vacuum. What do you call those things? Like a. What do you call those things, Sue? Uh, the vacuum packer. Or a vacuum sealer. Dry sealer. Dry sealer. Or... So we can pull our pull our freezer stuff down a little bit because I heard it does a good job by doing that and that way it can fit a little bit more inside the freezer. This Louise, we've got a bit going on in Bulk. here. Bulk going on Bulk in here. going on in here. This is only um, a, well, half the groceries, the other half still in the car. Not even half the groceries. Huh? Not even. We just spent um, $515. I was actually really I think we did a good shop for that price to be honest. See ya? Yeah. We got like a month's worth of food, just less um, some fresh veg in like two weeks, and some bread. Okay, I've, I've, so just to let you know, this is the um, the freezer, right? And this is the fridge in, in our caravan. Open the fridge there, please, Sue, and let's um, show them the situation. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of this. Needs, to, needs to be dry vacked and put in here. And I'm hoping to get one tomorrow. And then I can put those veggies. We got these veggies still need to go in. My beers are sitting outside. Those are sitting outside because the, the fridge is not working. The fixed. wine is sitting over there because don't worry, we haven't had any to drink tonight if anyone's wondering. Big day for someone tomorrow. We'll let you know exactly what's going on tomorrow morning. I'm a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit sad. I'm, a, I'm sad about it. It's not something that I... Um, wanted to do so unfortunately it, you know, it's it's come a time where it just has to happen but anyway we'll pick up um, with that tomorrow morning all right guys good morning it is now Monday morning just before seven and um, yeah so we've got a big thing happening today well at least for myself I feel a bit bad and um, yeah I'll explain to you now Hey old man, I'm so sorry, Bobby is going into the vet today, I don't know how to put this but he's having his um, what's the best way to see? His crown jewels are being removed, huh? his crown jewels are being removed, he's being neutered. He's being neutered today, so we're, um, that's one of the reasons why we're, we're in Carnarvon and this vlog's a little different, Bobby's got to be at the vet by 8 o'clock. He's not allowed to eat this morning, not allowed to drink water. So, 
I've got to get up. I've got to shower, get ready, and take him into the vet and drop him off. He's uh, got to be there for the day, and hopefully we don't have any complications. Um, when we had Sophie, when we had her neutered, um, we had some complications with Sophie, so <coughs> we're hoping that this goes smoothly, mate. All right, guys, here we go. We've got bulk going on in the uh, the cab today. Sue's helped me take the fridge out. So the fridge is on the seat, strapped in with the seat belt. So I can drop that off, hopefully, after I've dropped Bob off at the vet. Bob is in the back. He's, um, I think he's got a sense of feeling what's going on. But um, we're only about seven minutes away from the, um, from the vet. So I'm gonna go in and drop him off and hope all goes well with him. So just a day operation, so we should be able to get him back at about four. Now, the reason why we're pretty, like, up go about it is that the last time we took Sophie into the um, the vet, it wasn't good news, but I know this is completely different, but it does play in your mind a bit, and it brings back those horrid um, memories of that morning when we had to put Sophie down. Whew. So, yeah, there he is. He hasn't had anything to eat today, so let's take him in. All right, guys, here we are. At the vet, I've just gone in quick just to, to make sure I'm at the right place, but I am. And um, yeah, we're going to take him in. Oh, sorry, mate. Look at him. He'll be all right, buddy, eh? Mom couldn't be here because she's working. Hey? Eh? All right? Shame he hasn't anything to eat since last night because that's what we were told. So he'll be all right, buddy. I'll see you a bit later, okay? All right, guys, so show the two young girls inside um, the vet. Oh, it's so awesome. They, they they, really made the situation a little feel a bit better. Uh, so Bobby Girl go in. They're going to do full blood tests before the operation just to make sure that he doesn't have any underlying issues that we don't know about because he's only one. We've only really done all of his jabs and his what he needed to have like we're always on top of it and um if we don't hear from them then that's a good thing then he goes in at about 11 and or 11 30 and um they're pretty positive they're very nice people so if you're ever looking for a vet in and around carnarvon i really highly suggest coral coast veterinarian uh, veterinaria veterinarian hospital I'll drop it all in the, on the, in the description below if you want your dog to have a checkup. They just seem so cool. So they said it's a pretty easy process, um, especially for males. Um, I asked about if we had to bring him back in for the stitches. The stitches are self-dissolving. We just need to take photos and email it through to them to make sure it all goes well. Hopefully we don't get any um, infections, so we'll definitely keep him out of the ground um, and possibly in the caravan for the next few days. We'll. We should be able to pick him up between three and four. So long day. I just don't like it. You know, we don't have any kids. So Bobby, our dogs are like our kids to us. So anyway, let's get this fridge in. And then I gotta go and try and find one of those vacuum sealers for all that meat that's um, there and keep myself busy today, I think. Do some editing and keep you guys up to date. And let's get on the road. So we're leaving Carnarvon today. Here we are. We're just outside Mitre 10. We've got a gas bottle filled. And um, so we're running these new Cam cost, Cam pump gas, gas bottles. So I filled this one. This one's almost finished. So because we're going off grid for so long, I thought I'd fill up that one. Arrived at beautiful Quabba blowholes. We are down the end of the, the, the camping area here. So you're gonna be self-contained here. I haven't seen any toilets and stuff. A lot of little fishing shacks and that along the way in. And we've come right down to the end. No idea the um, 
campsite number because I don't have any campsite numbers on, but we've managed to bag ourselves a spot down here. I take it the um, beach is just sort of over, over the hill, over here. And um, that's us for a few days here while we wait for some post and Bobby gets a bit better before we venture too far away just to make sure he's, um, he recovers well. So I'm going to just leveling out the van. Get all leveled, drop the jacks, let's get the awning out, Sue's done some washing and hang that. And then um, can't wait to explore what Quabba's got to go. Now I have seen on the socials there's been a fair bit of fishing going on here and there's been a fair few fish coming out. So what I'm going to do is get this done, so I'm going to jump in the car, I'm going to just head around, have a look at the um, boat ramp, sort of get an idea what's going on, uh, where I damaged the um, styling cable, that's my bad, that's what we're waiting for in the post, um, driven over it and must probably damaged it and I hope that's the, the go with the styling cable, but um, I reckon we're going to have some epic weather here, so blue skies out as you can see. Barely any wind every now and again. There's a there's a there's a wind gust, but that's okay. And um, there's a fair few people here, I've got to be honest, but that's but that's cool. It's cool to see people out in the back. been released from the day's yeah. work and um, I cannot wait we are off to snorkel in the aquarium call it an aquarium but it's like yeah like a pond sort of yeah I don't know it looks great and um, we got some really good weather but we've also got some bad weather coming um, so I thought you've got to take the opportunity when you can so I'm super excited now I've only ever snorkeled once in Western Australia because I am a bit, um, you know, we yeah, of the old um, sea life. Sea life, but I have heard a lot of people have um, snorkeled here and say it's really good, so I'm super pumped for this one. Extra layer of gear here by the looks well, of things. It doesn't really, doesn't really work because the water still gets in, but better than nothing. It's that initial shock that I hate when you jump in because the water is not still 100% warmish for me. But you know what? Decide it. If you don't grow up, stop being a baby, you can actually enjoy life. <laughs> but uh, gonna get that on. Here's our snorkeling gear in the back here. Yeah. So those I think are my Derek sees. incredible I think we spent like an hour and a half oh, mate. just snorkeling I've never done anything like that and swam when you literally it's like swimming in an aquarium isn't it it was incredible Woo! I'm actually I'm quite chuffed I did that Huh? I'm chuffed you did that. You spent like an hour. In I mean, the water's water. not that cold, to be Maybe fair. Maybe just over an hour in the water, which is and, unheard of for you. And we only and, and we only swam. Let me swing this around. Literally went in here and just swam in this little section here, not even over. There were some really shallow play spots, but you do find the deeper pockets. I mean, stingrays, blue bone, bloody oh. tusk. Fish. What do you call him? Not tusk fish. Know, um, all, sorts. all sorts of fish. I'm no, I'm no um, expert on the fish, but 
That was incredible. Big ones as well. Like I say, you can't fish in this is a green zone. So that's what's probably why we were very lucky to find an area like this with a fish like that because otherwise they would, you know, be gone. But a lot of dead coral as well I saw. Oh, where, you, where are you? Huh? I'm just over here enjoying the view, look. Oh, it's just magic. Fortunately, the next few days it's going to be a bit windy, but... See, it's actually tapped up by the rocks there. Yeah, I'll swing so... this around. But there's actually like a, yeah, it's like shelf. a shelf there. And this reef runs all the way along and then you and you just get this big lagoon area big lagoon yeah and all the birds and then what do you like to call a pond a pond <laughs> there's a bit of flapping in the pond you can actually put the tinny in and you can go through the breakers and around the back and there's some nice mackerel and that have been coming out so all right let's hope that we get a good day i mean the tinny is off the roof already it is and um we can hop, possibly go out the back and I don't know, big, big Mackie would be good. Oh, that would just top it. Eh? But um, let's go back. Bobby didn't come because of his um, operation. Um, and also, well, you wouldn't swim. So, <laughs> and, it's, and it was, we found... Have, um, made our experience a bit challenging. Oh, definitely. But he's actually back at the van because the van is actually cooler than in the car. So we've got to go back. We've got to check on him. A beautiful sunny morning to you slightly snappily cold but um sun's out and it is gorgeous up on the beach and we have finally got the old boat off so um derek oh where is he there he is he's busy um setting us up for a bit of a fish so um a bit of a doozy to get your boat in here there's a massive drop off here so what i think i'm gonna do is leave the car up on the top and just slide the boat off, swing it around, nose first in. See there, those breakers you gotta be careful of. So we gotta get behind them. There's a couple of things out there. And um, so what we what we actually gotta do, you gotta run this shallow line here. There's a little floating buoy over there we gotta turn. And we sort of gotta head out and then do mark. it. Because this area is actually a green area. There's a, there's a sign. So the green area runs a few meters past so you come on here straight out and straight to the point so obviously we can't fish that so we've got to make sure we stay out of that so and then we're just going to try and see like they've been getting some squid up in the front here of the city we are um, going to go for a mackie first there's been hey. some big mackies coming out fish for dinner um so we're going to head out if it gets too wild for us look we're not you know we'll give it a go but we've got to be sensible for ourselves as well the way you feel comfortable if it's too how you're going out there, we might just put back in and just drop some squid out the front because we like squid anyway. So I love squid. Let's do it, eh? I can see why it's squid mecca. Lots of um, sandy spots, lots of seaweed. Pretty hairy launch. I mean, not too bad, but I mean, it's not an easy launch. So it's definitely not easy. I can tell you that. Oh. So what we decided to do is, it's too bumpy for my little tinny to get out because of all the weather we've had, and we've heard that they're getting some squid in in close here. Look so at we're you. outside the green zone, and that is a stonker. That is a stonker of a donkey of a squid. That's why. And I tell you what, my old faithful lure. That has been absolutely hammered. I've lost the outer skirting of it. It's still producing. <laughs> Go on. Let's see if you can get one now, darling. Oh, thank you. Come on. That's the Squid King oh, back. Oh, come on. Oh, oh holy, holy. And that spat all over me. Look at the size of these beautiful squid. Hang on. Hang on. Something's the net. I'm going into the net. Something's living on my lot. No, if you keep catching like this, I don't get a chance to fish, yeah? Oh! It's got me. Oh, I've just broken my lure. Oh, no. no. Squid heaven! Yes, Sue. Yes, Sue. Into the, into the net, darling. Oh, yes, they donkeys. are. Donkey. We're not going to need many. We've got three. Oh, bring it over. All right, bring it over. It's going to hit me. Hang on. Yes. Oi! There you go. Thank well you done love. on the white jig. I've got my dodgy. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. All oh, mates on the kayak. 
Yes, we're on the caravan park over the, over, over there. Somewhere, there's the light house. Beautiful, it's actually dropping off even more. So, Sue's on it. Oh, I can't let you beat me, love. So it's 2-2. Two, two. All right, hang on, you've got to get it over the net, darling. Oh, no, oh. over the net. In the net. Yep. I've got the, I'm trying to GoPro and get just. We've only been here for 15 minutes. Yeah, well, we. Oh, bad recording, look at that. All right, let's just start the motor and move out a bit. Right. Oh, he's on to a donkey. It's been a, it's been a fair while between squish. Oh, Jesus. That's dead. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious, mate. Don't fall off, mate. Oh, donkey. <laughs> It's a donkey. Bring you home the dinner. Well, we're three all now. That's how long it's taken us. Well, you guys wouldn't have known, but it's taken us, I reckon, 20 minutes to maybe even a half an hour um, between those Sue's last squid and that one. But anyway. We've got a good couple of squid in the bag. Um, so what do you reckon? Call it a day? Yeah, go and check gonna, on Bobby. We're going to go check on Bobby. Oh, you also got to navigate our way in. It's, we've been, it's been about a half an hour since the last squid, so... We've got, I think, six squid there. We've got to clean them still. We've got to get them back to the van, vacuum, vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer. I'll keep the heads for some bait because we haven't had bait. Let's go. Let's go. Come down to the actual blowholes itself and it is absolutely putting a show on here for us. Check this out. Again, gotta wait for the big wave, that's too small. Watch this. <laughs> hey! We, oh, here comes the big one. It's building, it's building. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Let's have a look. Look at the little ones in the front here as well. I could stand you all day. Up early this morning, it is not even half seven. No. And um, we thought we'd grab a photo at the old um, King Waves Who Killed sign. It's a pretty iconic. And if you see anyone on a photo on this sign, you know exactly where they are, Quabble Blowholes. So, yeah, it's been awesome. Oh, let's get out the sun there, darling. It's been absolutely amazing here. The weather's been a bit hit and miss, it but is we've a still superb spot to visit still had an absolute rip of a time here but nevertheless we have to keep hitting north it is absolutely freezing this morning i'm still in my slippers i struggled <laughs> to get out of bed this morning to get going but um we managed to do i managed to just push myself and get up and let's get going we got uh, about a three hour drive um today so come join us next week guys and while we and um, join us while we head north we've got some super exciting stuff planned um, but for myself soon, Bob, this week, we are going to say goodbye. And if you haven't already done so, please do us a solid. It really helps us grow our channel and hit the like and subscribe button below. Thanks, guys. Awesome, guys. See ya.